there's a huge plaza mall south of us or south of Barry called that uh, used to be called Cookstown Plaza now it's called Tanger or Tanger Tangy go figure uh, same kind of tangy sauce tangy and savory go figure again that will be tangy and savory and then you have this tangy ate it and it tasted it was so tangy real tangy kick to it uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> if I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. I bridges, I bridges, I bridges, peanut. This is a business. Topper's pizza. This is a business. Topper's pizza. Mm hmm. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. Tangy, 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 tangy. Tangy. I'm insane. Double, double. Oh, oh, yep. yeah. oh, this is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the. Wrapper. I know, I know. I want okay, to okay, see okay. it. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So I think we could have. No. Mm -hmm. I would have rocked my car. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. Medium, medium, medium Pepsi. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. Do you want to know why that screen looks good? It is not because of the burst in the background that Ken Domic did not invent. It's not because of the uh, well done cartoon graphic of a pickle up front. It's got nothing to do with the font on top of all of it. It's looking good because of the tons of money and design work that's gone into the KFC trademark in the middle of it. So, when I react to Ken's material, I'm going to start using his logo a lot more. Because he can't sue me. Uh, Your Honor, this is outrageous. KDRC is using my trademark. Well, well, well Mr. Dominic, don't you use the much more powerful and expensive trademarks of big companies all the time? I, 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 oh, you do? Y y y y yes, I do. Oh, well, my name is Ken Dominic. Uh, get out of here, then. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I am in the great sunny city of LA, California. That is not the correct way to say it when both names are together. You say Los Angeles, California. Do you note at the bottom left, Ken, there is the correct way of doing it that you copied and pasted off the internet? Los Angeles, California. When the name of the city is separated from the name of the state, then you say, L.A. There will be an example provided. Here it is, Ken. Write it down. Where did they make that movie? Oh, they made it in L.A. Uh, let's see. Where is that guy from? He's from L.A. Then we have the correct usage. You don't say, L.A., California. You say, Los Angeles, California. Remove from that. Then you can say, L.A. as per the example. Dumbass. At a KFC to try their new pickle fried chicken? Oh my goodness. What will they think of next, eh? That sounds like something somebody's grandfather would say. Which makes sense because you look like a grandfather. Ah! Oh, what are they doing to my KFC? Oh! Pickle fried chicken? Oh, oh dear.
here. What are they gonna do next? <laughs> it, it's also good that, that, that you're, um, uh, uh, picking your nose and taking crap out of your beard, and then you nonchalantly leave it on the floor of the rented Mustang. We have to run that one a second time. Oh my goodness, what will they think of next, eh? First it's like a pickle slushy. Now it's pickle fried chicken. I bet it's gonna be good though. Steal that trademark, Ken. Steal that trademark, exploit it, and use it for your own purposes. The woman asks, how can I help you? And the Ken Domic Poop Show is about to begin. Yet before it does, KDRC is going to show you that this is a very busy intersection. Check the map. That's like, what, five, six lanes each way? And the Taco Bell's in the, uh, the, 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 the corner, the bottom left corner, right next to this loud intersection. So, you know, they, they, they have to build where they can get an available spot. And they put it next to a high traffic area. All right, there's high traffic area. So it's going to be noisy, right? Ken is not going to say, this is a very busy intersection. It's it's noisy, too. He will not do that. He's he's looking for drama. And there's not really any drama happening here. It's just uh, an idiot trying to create conflict for no reason and make himself look like a hero. It's like, oh, oh my goodness, what's going on here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have chaos now. <laughs> it is very noisy. And notice that Ken sounds like he's speaking with a cold. There's a rasp in his voice. So keep that all in mind, that all the noise is coming into the microphone for the woman to hear at the same time. Hi, can I try the uh, pickle fried chicken, please? Sorry? Do you guys have the pickled fried chicken? No. No, it's like in certain areas then? The pickled fried chicken was a limited to time item. It came and it went. And so when it is new, and it's not a traditional part of the KFC menu, it may not be familiar to some of the employees. It's like, Ken has no appreciation for the fact that food service jobs at the uh, QSR, quick service restaurants, pay like minimum wage of like 25 cents above, you know, and it's, 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 it's hectic work, and so if somebody comes in there and they don't know about pickle fried chicken, it is no big deal, okay, so it's like, she, uh, she doesn't know about it, and so it was gonna be a fail, and then it's, uh, oh, she actually picked up the spare, and, and said, yeah, yeah, we do have it. So, what's the big deal, man? I mean, like, uh, she, she didn't know that, that it was there, and then she figured that it was there. So, there's <laughs> no harm done. All right. Oh, give me a second, give me a second. I what? <laughs> Oh, you do have it. You said you wanted a pickle chicken. Uh, right. yes, please. Uh, okay, let's... I have the tender, or the two peas, three peas. Or... Listen for the roar of the muffler that is coming. Four peas or four let's tenders. let's just do like the four piece tenders, please. Four piece tender. Yeah. And okay. and, and uh, I guess a uh, Pepsi. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, no, I don't, uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, I don't want anything on the side. I just kind of want the nug the uh, strips. I'm sorry? I just want the strips, no s sides. Yeah, that's the basket. That's what it comes. Yeah, I, hmm. Ken says, LOL, I'm being forced to order more than I want. Like, you're not being forced to order anything. You could just say, oh, that, that, I didn't know it, it came with, uh, with, with, with the side. That's a little bit too much for me right now. I don't want the food to get cold. Uh, uh, I'll come back a little later when I'm a little bit hungrier. Thanks anyway, though. Uh, thanks for your time. Bye. <laughs> You're not being forced to order anything. And, and for you, a food reviewer who writes off a portion of everything he buys, what do you care? It's like a few bucks. You're trying to make it look like this giant epic battle. It, it, it's a couple of bucks more than what you expected. Who cares, man child? So we don't sell them individually. Notice he did an edit there. 
you will never know what really happened with this conversation. Ken only uses the portions that serve his side of the story. I do french fries on the side? We have wedges. Oh, okay, I'll do the wedges, right. Will that be all? That would be it, thank you. Oh. I'll give you a... If she didn't mention the drink, then that was the moment that Ken should have mentioned it to her again. Remember that this is a very noisy area. Like, so she forgets the drink. It's no big deal. Thank you. Well, that was extremely confusing. That was not confusing, nor was it extremely confusing. Ken asked if they had it. They said no. And then they said, wait a second, we do have it. What is a big deal? What a man child. He's only getting started. No, we don't have it. Okay, we do have it. Let it go, you mollycoddled little sissy. You man child. And I just wanted the strips so I could try it, but oh well. So Ken only wanted the strips. He didn't want the sides. So because they make the sides part of the deal, he had to spend two or three dollars more than what he wanted to. Oh my gosh. What a man child. What a man child. All, all, all the serious problems other people have to deal with. And, and here's Ken with, with, with a, a sweet gig of somehow getting lucky on YouTube with a fad. <laughs> he actually gets uh, a meager living out of it. He doesn't have to work a real job, just eating junk food and enjoying himself. Oh, 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 I only wanted the strips. Make sure you bitch about it, man child. I guess we'll have to do what she says. What a passive aggressive jerk you are! Mm, okay, mm, I uh, I didn't want the sides, and they made me buy the sides. Mm, they didn't make you buy anything. Oh, mm, oh well. Mm, I guess we'll just have to do what she says. <laughs> She's doing her job. The decisions on what the meal is was made at head office. She's only doing her job. You don't appreciate anybody actually has to work for a living. We we know what you said about construction workers calling them douchebags, and and and, and you 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 break balls at the at the drive through all the time. She's only doing her job, you effing jerk. <laughs> She's just completing the order at a KFC. What a man child. What a man child. It's always exciting here on KB Productions TV. Oh, Ken, how you suffer! It's it, 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 it's just a, a a battle trying to bring to the people these reviews of fast food. You have our pity, Ken. You, you do so much for the people. She didn't say how much, did she? Hi. How much you say? Eight, five, six, seven, eight, seven, five. Thank you. Oh, whoa, good thing you had the other one. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Can you believe Ken Domic sitting at his shack in the Elf Village in front of his computer typing in those words, she shut the window and walked away! Exclamation mark. I'm gonna move it over here. There. Ah. Let it sit there for a couple of seconds. How dare she, Ken? How dare she do that? She just shut the window and walked away! Yeah, because uh, you paid her and you got what you paid for. She didn't cheat you. What, what, what do you want? Okay, so she forgot your drink? And like I said before, we didn't get the whole conversation, alright? And it is very noisy. And y you could have spoke up if, if you didn't think that she got it. I mean, what would it hurt? I mean, you're an aggressive jerk as it is anyway. Just, oh, you sure you got the drink there? <laughs> Look at the full drama of KBD Productions TV. Run by a man-child. A man-child! <laughs> you too. Alright guys, did you? Here it comes. Our Ken is going to build and build on this stupid drink. What kind of a grown, middle-aged man, who looks like a grandpa, makes such a big deal over a stupid fountain drink at KFC? Ken Dominic does. Hear me ask for a drink, and uh, I guess a Pepsi. 
because I wanted a drink. Pepsi, it's not gonna go around again. <laughs> Here we go, people. Not only are you an embarrassment to Canada, and not only are you an embarrassment to YouTube itself, because you've said this is just a gravy train. That this is just a gravy train that you're gonna ride until the wheels fall off. Not only that, you are an embarrassment to the Western way of life. There you are in a rented Mustang with all kinds of horsepower. And you're bent out of shape because you didn't get the drink the first time. And you're driving that powerful car in circles around the KFC, chuckling to yourself, and you're angry because you have no appreciation for how lucky you got to get this gig where you actually get a meager income to pay your bills with by eating junk food on YouTube. You are like a child on a ride at an amusement park. <laughs> Here we go, people! <laughs> what a man-child! What a man-child! Going around again. I'm pretty sure I asked for a drink. And, uh, I guess, a uh, Pepsi? Let's do this again, people. Shake your head at her, Ken. Give her heck. Build your anger for yourself and your audience. You've been hard done by. Think of the people working in law firms on important battles and it's very expensive and the stakes are high and other people in the skilled trades working on a construction site to produce a useful building and there's Ken Domic driving around the KFC shaking his head because he's been so hard done by. He didn't get his drink. Now he has to uh, take another pass and get his fountain drink. He has to get his, his fountain Pepsi and puts the camera on himself. And oh boy, she really screwed me over, says Ken. He thinks that he's showing everybody that he's getting screwed by KFC. Just because somebody forgot a drink and he has to come back and order it again. What he's really doing is showing everybody that Ken Domic cannot be part of a creative team. He's completely useless. That's why he's going to hold on to this gig. Because he walked away from that school board support staff job he had years and years ago. And this is what he has. You cannot add Ken Domic to a creative team. Because he loses it over silliness in about 10 seconds. Totally unemployable. For a real job. Help you. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry? Medium Pepsi. Ken Rage, more like Ken Manchild moment. Just look at how angry he gets over something as silly as a fountain drink. That's it, thank you. Am I speaking with our Ken is about to say am I speaking with a slur do I have a speech impediment no it is noisy at that location and you actually do have a rasp in your voice and that is the mess that gets through the microphone to the person at the KFC location a slur hi can I get a medium Pepsi please do I have a speech impediment medium 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 Pepsi. <laughs> I hate your laugh. It is all about what you are, which is passive aggressive. You're not experiencing any joy there. Like, <laughs> it's like ah, ah. passive aggressive little laugh. I'm so holding myself back from swearing. I'm gonna make it through this video without swearing. You are an effing jerk. Both times she had, she couldn't hear what I said. I don't think I was speaking any ridiculous. Maybe it's my Canadian accent. People in the states just don't can't understand us Canadians. Do you hear the Harley Davidson, Ken Domic? Do you hear the Harley Davidson in the background? It is a very noisy location. You idiot! Get off YouTube. Stop talking about food. Go away to your shack in the Elf Village and get a paper route. Please and thanks. 
I don't know. I just don't know. I kind of asked for a drink, but I don't think you heard me the first time. Leave her alone. Leave her alone, Ken, you pickled pest. She doesn't know that you're recording the whole thing to add to your YouTube channel to make money with, all right? You're exploiting her. This amounts to harassment at work. Just bugger off, man. Oh, sorry. Man, child. Jerk. Goof. Dumbass. I'm around. Yeah, no big deal. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks. You too. I can't get out. The person in front of me is not moving. Notice the tiles on the right hand side of the screen. Ken is moving, and he only has to apply the brake for a matter of seconds. And he adds sound effects of an automatic gunfire and a woman screaming while being killed. This guy needs lots of help. And they were going to get out of the car, and I can't get around this person. And she stopped again. And then stopped again. Oh my gosh. I'm going to lose my mind. That happened a long time ago, Ken. And everybody in your life is enabling it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Steal the valuable trademark again there, Ken. And, as he does so, please note that Ken feels that he just went through an enormous crisis or something like that. Can you imagine him as part of a creative team? Of course not. Like, he, he would fall apart in an instant, and, and you wouldn't be able to convince him that it was a trifle. It's like, ah, 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 ah I, I had to go get my drink. Ah, ah, ah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Chaos has ensued. If that is all that needs to happen for Ken Domic to say that chaos has ensued, then he is unemployable, aside from his little support staff job he had years and years ago, and this gig he has now. Which is why, what does he do? He, he, he goes on live stream and begs for money while drinking beer. That is all Ken Domic has to offer. He has to go get his drink, and it's like, oh my goodness, chaos has ensued. <sighs> Did you hear that loud, overwrought sigh? <sighs> Poor Ken Domic. Look at the look on his face, all right? And he's got the tray going, right? Right, right, right? For the first time, this has come to me. What does he remind you? Like, none of you guys have said it either, okay? What does he remind you of? With that look on his face, that, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> now, that fits pretty good. It is a high chair for a man child. And KFC must have run out of cups. Because you usually get a KFC cup at KFC. This is a KFC and Taco Bell location. All right, so my fries are in a separate bag with 300 napkins, a spork, wedges. It comes with it. Really? You can't just order? He is still bitching about it. Uh, I can't get the chicken strips without having to order wedges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that looks good. High chair for a man child. I had to get the wedges too. <laughs> it was an extra two dollars. I don't want to spend it. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's not exceptional. I'm getting all those experiences. And then you have this tangy, almost citrusy sauce that is obviously um, pickles. But let's try the bun. That is a biscuit. Is Kentucky Fried Chicken and they provide biscuits with the fried chicken. 
So please stop making food videos. Stop making food videos, Ken, please. And thanks. Biscuit, sorry. It's a biscuit, I know. Ken, we know that you would rather be doing something else, and maybe it is time for you to consider returning to your roots. And with that, I mean cat videos. So, I would like to share with the audience here one of your earlier works, Kung Fu Kitties, Kittens vs. a Laser Pointer, from April of 2009, so 11 years ago. Let's uh, share that, and perhaps we can inspire you to return to cat videos as soon as possible. Tastes nice, dipped. Hey, dip your biscuit. Ooh la la. Is there anybody who can say with the comments what the sexual significance is of dip your biscuit? Um, I, 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 I don't know. I've, I've, I, I haven't heard of this before. Um, it's, uh, it's singular. Dip your biscuit. Uh, so how it relates to male or female genitalia, I, I, I dip your biscuit. Um, anyone who wants to make a comment, uh, please do so. Mm. Not bad, I don't let that sit there. I don't know why they give you so much sauce. Like, there's no way anybody's gonna eat all that sauce. They give you more than enough so people such as yourself don't turn around and complain and say this is supposed to be pickle fried chicken and they barely give you any sauce they really scrimp here at ksc you get it that is why they do it so you cannot complain you have more than enough drink it at the end oh, there's a dare I dredged it through the sauce, ate it, and it tasted, it was so tangy, it's almost like I put it through like uh, lemon juice or lime juice, so I had that real tangy kick to it. Tangy. Let's have a tangy talk, Ken. It is well known that you have no interest in the culinary arts, and you would rather be doing cat videos. So you want to do as little work as possible. And tangy is a word that you have used far too much for far too long, over years and years. And so we took it and made fun of it and you couldn't use it for a couple of months and now you got barbecue sauce in front of you. What are you gonna do? You have to use the word tangy. And so you wanna go in hard and say, as you just did there, hey, tangy. Eh? What are you gonna do? Uh, Ken, you can't take the word back. We own it. <laughs> it's, it's too late. <laughs> you ruined the word tangy for yourself. It belongs to us. So you can go back to using it. That's fine. You know, we're, we're gonna make fun of you even more for it. So I just wanna let you know, right? I mean, you're not taking anything back. Uh, you ruined it. And uh, if you would go to culinary school, that would be different. It's just we know it's the same Ken, and you're just going back to the same old thing all right so there's a tangy talk and um this reaction is done we encourage everybody to stay home to inform y'all we're home safe 
We just want to let you guys know that we're home. All right, guys. We well, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. Stay at home, please. Don't be dumb. Uh, Go out and get it. 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 British peanut. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Go out and get it. 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 Go out and get it now. That sucked like shit. Tangy.